but there is no uh, healthy planet without a healthy ocean. Today, we will have all together the chance to dialogue on the ocean transformative agenda within the framework of the Middle East perspective. Your maritime areas from the Eastern Mediterranean to the Arabian Gulf remain essential to the global escape. As we collectively witness immense progress from the UAE, France and Costa Rica in the field of ocean sustainability, and especially ahead of the United Nations Ocean Conference co-hosted by France and Costa Rica that is set to take place in Nice in June next year, inshallah, we are committed to in bringing together all actors and cultures to listen to one another, to learn from one another and to act with impact. Some core priorities are already identified, such as the finalization of ocean-related process, the Plastic Treaty, the BBNG Treaty, and the W2U Fisheries Agreement. Uh, it's important for this part of the world to be a uh, uh, part of the solution, as uh, uh, many exchange uh, occurred in the uh, Arabian Sea. The uh, Ocean Institute here in Abu Dhabi is the first of this kind. Thank you very much for the fantastic initiative that you have uh... Uh, launched yesterday with L'Océan and offering uh, Sorbonne University Abu Dhabi. It's really substance, coalitions, engagements, We're again with scientists, corporates and the policymakers. I can tell you that in the UAE, in Saudi, in the region, there's huge ambition as well. A productive and a healthy ocean is what we really aim for. That is regenerative, uh, inclusive, uh, including communities, the wider stakeholders. The ocean is an opportunity. And so the focus on the blue economy, as well as that recognizing the need for, for funding, for financing, that's the real intent um, of the Blue Economy and Finance Forum. There will be a One Ocean Science Congress in Nice, gathering 2,000 uh, uh, scientists from all over the world. And the motto of the Congress will be science for action. If we're talking about um, the Ocean Rise and Resilience Coalition, we're aiming at representing a billion people across this globe because it will be a billion people threatened by the impacts of rising sea levels. As speaking here from, from, uh, from Qatar, a nation I know is quite deeply committed to the health of our oceans. I, uh, I believe the coral reefs should be a priority as vital to the marine uh, biodiversity. I would suggest here that we would love to see more tangible, concrete actions, well financial resources, promoting uh, research. To include the civil society, to include the private sector. Uh, we're seeing a lot of movement towards leaning more on uh, on terrestrial research, specifically on greenhouse gas accounting and so on. And I think there is a need to kind of connect uh, the climate discussion as well with the ocean, which is yet to pick up. Healing from Tunisia, a crossroad of Mediterranean maritime routes. It's an honor to present the Forum Mondial de la Mer, Bizerre, and the Blue Africa Summit. To your historic maritime culture is added today a common and international responsibility to protect the seas. To create conscience in the youth of, of the countries about the importance of the ocean. Together we can write a new chapter in this history of the Mediterranean and the Red Sea to make these great basins more sustainable. I will finish with uh, some word in Arabic.